And holiday events mean hours standing and walking at parties, maybe fundraisers, weddings, any sort of gathering, a cookie exchange. Many women accept foot pain that comes along with wearing heels, right? So Steffi Thompson joining us now. It's a local neuroscientist just to give us some options to still look cute but not be in pain. Good morning, Steffi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. So the first thing I want to ask you is how do you go about choosing your shoe that you want to wear if you're going to be standing for a long period of time? Well, I like to say that if you're shopping and you're looking for a new shoe, my favorite suggestion is to go walk in the shoes mm -hmm. for about one minute. Yeah. And don't look at your feet, don't look at yourself in the mirror, and just think about how do they feel on my feet. And okay. What's causing the pain? I mean, sometimes we don't wear the right size, or you know, we, we don't know where this comfort is coming from, but typically, what's causing the pain on our feet? So it's sneaky with shoes. Uh -huh. The interior, what the, what the shoes are made of, is actually usually made out of plastic and metal. It's yes. this really hard material, and that doesn't absorb any of the shock. So mm -hmm. as we walk from the beginning to the end of our day, the, the job is done by our joints, our ankles, yes. our knees, knees, our hips, and our lower back. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the day, it's not just that your feet hurt, it's that your whole body is really aching, and that's tough. And as a neuroscientist, what really is going on in our mind, in our brains, when we're in pain and wearing these shoes for such long periods of time? This is, it's a classic pain signal. Uh -huh. Your brain is saying, hey, something is wrong, I need you to fix this and your brain will not let you forget it. So in the beginning of an evening, you might start with a little bit of discomfort, yeah. but that pain signal is gonna come back again and again and right. again until you're able to relieve the pressure. Okay, so let's say we're at a store, mm -hmm. and what are some things that I could do when I'm looking at these shoes? You say to take a walk. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else, that any tips that you can give us about how to choose the right shoe for our event? I like to make sure that a shoe has a metatarsal pad, which is a pad just at the ball of your foot, gives you a little extra cushion mm -hmm. when you're standing. Um, also, make sure that the shoe is not too narrow. Oh. Um, if it's if you have a little bit more width, it lets your toes splay out, and that will naturally My toes don't get scrunched right, like in the heels. Ex exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And then, of course, as best you can try to get the fit that is the best for you because if it's a little bit big, then you're kind of scrunching right. your foot. And your foot slides, And it happens yeah. to me, and that's where you get blisters yeah. and things like that. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so let's say we are at a party um, and our feet start to hurt. Like, what could we do? We're not gonna be taking off our shoes, right? So what, what can we do? Well, so one thing, if you know the shoe, you can use rubbing alcohol mm -hmm. on a little cotton pad um, on the inside of the shoe, and that will help the material to soften. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can add a metatarsal pad, which I always right. recommend. And you can buy that separately if the shoe doesn't come with it? Always, okay. you can get them at any, any drugstore, Amazon, they're everywhere. And it's just that foam. It's just a little foam pad. Although, pro tip, those do come with like an adhesive. Mm -hmm. So I would put it into your shoe before you adhere it just to make sure it doesn't make the toe box too small. Got it. Because you're adding like that extra width. Um, and then the last thing is to keep your skin moisturized. The softer your skin is, the more it will resist abrasion and the mm -hmm. lower the odds of getting a blister. And what are some common, um, I guess, things in our foot that, that causes the pain? Like, is it the heel? Is it the side, the toes? Like, where is the most common pain coming from? It can be all of that. And the thing is, all of our feet are so different. True. And my left foot is different than my right foot. Yeah. So it's different for every woman, which is why it's so important to take the time to mm -hmm. try on and really find a shoe that really fits you well and feels great. And that you look great too, right? Because there's so exactly. much confidence that comes along with that. Absolutely, and you don't, we, exactly. And that's where we want to have the balance of mm -hmm. a shoe that makes you feel great, like because you're excited about wearing the shoe and it looks great with your mm -hmm. outfit, and a shoe that like doesn't bother you and right. lets you. And there really are enjoy shoes the out there, right? That that do that have those two things. Yes, there are some. There are some for sure. I have my own company where I've tried to do that using instead of plastic and metal, we use foam, and we've tried to create lines that are really elegant and kind of classic, so they can be sort of a wardrobe staple. Right. I've never seen a shoe look like this. Like just Isn't that funny? open to show what we're like standing on. It's just hard plastic and metal. Okay, well, Steffi, thank you so much for thank all you. that advice. We're all still gonna look pretty and cute and trendy and pain-free. Yes.